Hi, Chris Mason with AtLarsonNutrition.com. Uh, I want to take a moment tonight and uh, discuss with you a uh, very common misunderstanding. Uh, and that misunderstanding relates to training programs, uh, exercise, uh, and body composition, specifically body fat loss. Uh, and as the, uh, as the misunderstanding goes, and if you go to any gym in the world, you'll see the really the majority of the membership has this misconception. Uh, and, and that is that if I go into the gym X number of days a week, three, four, five, six, whatever, days a week, and train hard, uh, I'm going to change the way I look. I'm going to lose that waste. I'm going to whatever it may be. Uh, and obviously, uh, that's not true, it, as is evidenced by the fact that if you go into those same gyms, you see the majority of the membership in there busting their ass every day and uh, virtually no change. Uh, so, uh, you know, of course, the old adage is diet and exercise. And of course, the old adage is absolutely correct. Uh, the only way to significantly change your body fat levels, i.e. decrease them, <laughs> preferably, is uh, through dietary manipulation, through changing the way that you eat. Now, of course, uh, if you want to look good, uh, you know, there's a term, when we see people that lose a tremendous amount of weight, uh, but do not resistance train especially, uh, and or do quite a bit of aerobic work, and adjust their diet, you end up with what's called skinny fat. You have somebody that, that does lose body mass, uh, but in the process of losing a significant amount of body fat, they lose a significant amount of lean muscle mass. And of course, that is a recipe for disaster, uh, and it's the, it's the um, underlying cause of the yo-yo diet syndrome. In other words, you go on a strict diet, which typically I mean, works because it's extremely low calories, you know, if you eat little enough, you're going to lose weight. Uh, that's, you know, there's no way around that. But if you lose a lot of lean muscle mass for that, what happens is you, you do multiple things. When you eat too few calories, you reduce your, your body's uh, uh, kind of a BMR, your basal metabolic rate set point, if you will. You reduce it. Your body tries to compensate for this dramatic loss in caloric intake by slowing itself down in an attempt to preserve you, uh, you know. So I don't want to get too far into the dietary end of, of things here. Um, there's an article on uh, atlargenutrition.com. If it's not up today because we did a homepage change, it'll be up tomorrow. It's a PDF that I wrote, and that, that very specifically discusses dietary uh, concerns. Um, uh, so please feel free to check that out. But uh, just wanted to clear this up. I wanted to make sure that anyone watching this video understands that you can train your brains out but you're not going to significantly change your body fat levels, how you look uh, relative to that, uh, without a very significant change in your diet. And if you truly want to optimize how you look, you're going to do a combination of resistance training, some amount of aerobic work, and a dietary change without going too excessively low on the caloric intake. Uh, that's a whole nother, but anyway, separate issue. If you do that, you're going to look the best you can look. If you don't do that, you're going to be like most of the people in the gym, and you're going to look the same day after day uh, on the, uh, the proverbial treadmill, as it were. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for your time. Have a good evening.